Japanese. Right. The old one? This is the old one. The this old is one new one. This is a Korean design, but it has a slightly different yeah, texture. Yeah. But uh, this one is a new one. So okay. you can see uh, this one is a two and a half millimeter thinner. It's about 30 grams lighter. And then it basically the width and the height is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, we really hated this bump here. We completely got rid of it. Yeah. So there's a lot of engineering that went into this design. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, people will be surprised to find that this is actually a 3D phone. Until we flip it over, no one really knows that it's a 3D. We still can't tell that it's yeah. a 3D. <laughs> yeah, still can't tell that it's a 3D phone, right? What, what else? Oh, and then. Well, the, the, the size of the screen, you know, the, the, the processor. Can you go through the main, main features of the Okay, yeah. so uh, this, this is Optimus 3D Max. It has uh, OMAP 4, and it's mm -hmm. a 1.2 gigahertz version. Yeah. And then, uh, contrary to its predecessor, Optimus 3D, this one has increased the internal memory to 1 gigabit. Mm -hmm. So, in 1 gigabit, 1, one point, gigabyte. 1 gigabyte, sorry, yeah. 8 gigabits. So, 1 gigabyte oh. internal yeah. memory. So, uh, and on top of that, Optimus 4 is famous for its effic effective architecture. Mm -hmm. Dual core, dual channel, dual memory. Yeah. So what it enables is, uh, even though it's just 1.2 gigahertz compared to its 1.5 mm -hmm. gigahertz competitor, it's very efficient and it can churn a lot of uh, computation. Yeah. So for example, here we have a 3D hotkey. Once you press it, it enters this a 3D zone where they got a YouTube 3D, 3D guide, and 3D game. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, with just a note here. This is a 3D screen, and if you watch it with eyes, uh, you can see the 3D effects, but you can't see them on the camera. Yes. And if you see it in two images, that basically means that it's in 3D. So once you go enter the 3D camera, now you have this uh, 3D camera mode where it's in regular, it's in a 3D like this. So you see a 3D effects coming out of the screen like yeah. that, right? We can see it, but. <laughs> Not sure for our readers. And then once you uh, press this button, it goes back to the regular 2D. Uh -huh. And once you press it, it can go to regular 3D. Are there any software improvements in the camera interface when compared to the previous model? Yes, when you press this button. So what we found out is uh, people love hardware keys. And what we, uh, what we made is, in a camera mode, when you press this 3D hotkey, it's a camera captured out. Like that. Uh, yeah? <laughs> And then uh, basically we, we used uh, a lot of the software from the predecessor, mm -hmm. so the level of maturity on this device is much higher than the predecessor. And on top of that we have a lot of internal memory, which helps its uh, performance. So, and on top of that, this one actually, this demonstration is something that's really uh, groundbreaking, I think. So, here is uh, Optimus 3D Max, yeah. connected to a 3D TV. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, a MHL cable. Mm -hmm. So uh, another difference I think, from the Optimus 3D is we got rid of the HTML port. Now it's only the MHL port. So uh, this is a WVGA screen, and this is a full HD. And actually, this phone is rendering two different images: one here in a WVGA, this one in uh, full HD resolution. So uh, normally, when you connect a phone to a TV, you will see a blown-up image of a WVG on a 1080p, which uh, creates a lot of jagged lines and uh, fuzzy edges. But this one, you can see, is crystal clear. It's crystal clear edges like that. It's all, almost the quality of a regular console game. It lets you use to the, the maximum resolution of the screen itself. Great. And then, this is only possible because this is, has a 1.2 gigahertz uh, dual core dual channel uh, CPU, which is very effective mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, band, band, memory bandwidth. And it allows it that, to stream full HD video. Full HD video yeah. out, of, out of a WVG CPU. Oh, yeah. And on top of that, once you hit the 3D hotkey, oh, no, 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 the side. 3D hotkey here, <laughs> then uh, this. Oh, I didn't launch it with a 3D. No, 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 hold this second. So we, uh, <laughs> I can do it again if yeah, you no want. Problem, no problem, yeah. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. No problem. I can do it again. Yes, I, I will get and show. Uh, okay. In, in 2D and this report, it looks like it. Okay. So what you're seeing here is uh, Optimus 3D Max that is a WVGA device that is connected to a full HD TV and it's pumping out a full HD resolution out of this phone. It's 
possible because of its effective architecture. And on top of that, uh, because this is a 3D phone, once you press the 3D hotkey, yeah. what it's going to do is it's going to show you in a real stereoscopic 3D here. And uh -huh. then, yep. And then on the TV, it's going to be shown in a real 3D in uh, full HD resolution. First time in this class. And uh, this is my personal favorite because I call it a Superman mode where you fly around, uh, you crowd. <laughs> Yeah, once you wear the glasses, this is really cool. Yeah. And uh, this is not limited to Google Earth. This is applicable to any other OpenGL based games. Mm -hmm. uh, Need for Speed, you know, like uh, Reckless Driving, all those famous games, they are all based on OpenGL. So uh, once you connect it to a large screen display, yeah. uh, first, you can watch, enjoy the game in full HD. Second, you can enjoy it in 3D on top of the first of its kind. Yeah, great. Awesome, looking forward to it. And this is the end of our video demonstration of the 3D Max. Check out Polarina for more.